Ultra Project Chronicle. She's got at least 394 subscribers and around 78,547 views. She could kick your ass in less time than it would take her to make a delicious mug of tea. It's Abigail Dufo. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday, August 27th, and my husband gave me strep. So I have medication and all the lozenges and all the tea. But I promised you a Diablo update with the new patch that came out yesterday. So let's do it. All right. So <clears throat> the main three things that changed, they added in um, greater rifts. They added in legendary gems and they, <coughs> sorry, my voice is going to be really funny. They added in greater rifts, legendary gems and the season. So we're going to kind of just quickly go through all of those. So let's go into this first and I'm possibly going to start doing a let's play for season. Maybe we'll start that in September because I think each season only lasts the month. So we'll see. So this is how greater rifts work. What you're going to do is you will, rifts are now cheaper kind of. Um, they are cheaper, but what you do is you only, they only cost one rift keystone fragment per person that's in the party. So if there's four of you, each one, everyone has to submit one keystone fragment. If there's three, then each one has to only cost three, etc. Um, so if you're doing this by yourself at this point, I can do, I can potentially do 53 if I like uh, rift keystones, rifts, just regular rifts. And then what you're going to do is once you get to the end of a greater rift, a rift trial has a chance to drop. And I will show you what I mean. So we click on this and we'll put one of those in there. Difficulty my on faster. Okay. So we'll run this. I wish you luck, hero. So it's more or less the same. The bar's a little bit different now, but. And there's a little toast here now to tell you how much money Alright, let's do it. I am returning to town. So yeah, there's a buff. All gold rewards are increased by 100% and the treasure goblins appear in pairs now for uh, the new patch. So that's kind of exciting. And there is a salvage one. So now you can salvage all white items, all blue items, and all yellow items at once. So all you're left with are uh, legendaries, which is pretty nice. And we got... Yeah, but mine have a set. So disenchant those. We have healed already, so go to our stash. Keystone of Trials, so I need to go back. Portal. And wait a little bit. Oh. So what's gonna happen is oh, sorry, I got really quite yawn because my throat hurts so much. Um what's gonna happen is we're gonna put this into the obelisk, the obelisk like we did with the other one. And we're going to go through a trial, and it's going to bring forth wave one, wave two, wave three. Now, depending on how fast you complete the various waves, it will jump ahead. There's kind of like marks that it'll, and it'll keep jumping until you're like just barely finishing it in time. And then Have you it spoken will, to Auric? Uh, Not yet. Once what you fail to complete to an the wave Nephilim in the ghost? time that they give you, it'll give you a keystone with, Hello. Kind of reminiscent of what it's supposed to do. So, just to give you a summary. 
Um, where are we here? Okay, so if you are in a oh, wrong button, sorry. If you are in a greater rift, uh, well, you know, let's just do the trial first. I'll just leave that open. We can look at it later. Um, but yeah, it'll give you a keystone, a greater rift keystone, um, and the about what the difficulty is. So let's do it. So we're gonna open this. We're gonna put the keystone in. So all party members, so when you're doing, um, if you're doing this as a group and one drops off the boss, it'll drop for everyone. Let's do it. Okay, so the trial begins in seven seconds. Let's drop this. Bleed, you fail! There are bosses, so don't... My gear's not. Do you want more? It's good enough to kind of make your torment one of my own, maybe 22. Okay, so now we're on. Not enough hatred. So this is a rank 12. So this means we can do a greater rift. Now again, I will go to my little web page here. All right, and so this is on the DiabloWiki.net. Um, so a greater rift level one is normal difficulty. So if you get the stone that has the one instead of mine, you can see it has the 12. Um, if you have it that has a one, it's normal. Level three is when it about goes to hard. Four is expert. Six is master. Eight is torment one. 12 is torment two. 15 is torment three. 17 is torment four. 20 is torment 5 25 is torment 6 so if you get to torment if you get to greater if level 25 it's on torment 6 difficulty and then anything higher than that just gets really really hard um it goes up to a hundred um and the gear obviously gets significantly better and better now <clears throat> the good the things that the things to know about greater rifts there are very few shrines and the pylons only last 15 seconds and there are no conduit pylons unfortunately um, you will not find treasure goblins in the greater rifts I know that they were in the PTR but they um, are not there at all any bosses you fight so any rares or elite uh, rare or elite champions um, will drop progress orbs which are purple and make sure you grab them and they will help you bump up um, the progress bar so you're gonna have a pro we'll show you, I'll show you what it looks like in a second but the progress bar is purple instead of yellow and there is a timer that is slowly working away and then your progress and you want to keep ahead of the timer because in order to get the bonus um, well you don't have to but in order to get the bonus which is to get the keystone for the next rift um, and possibly gems you will need um, to k defeat the boss before the timer runs out um, what else? There are no loot and no gold drops, no chests, very few destructibles. Um, I will be getting gold during it because I have this. I have the gladiator gauntlet, so after earning a master bonus, gold, ra gold rains from the sky. Um, if you're really, really far ahead, I would definitely recommend grabbing any gold that you get if you have items like this. Otherwise, I wouldn't worry too much about it because you're gonna, I'm guessing you're, if you're running these, you're not always doing them for gold. Um, you can only find them in adventure mode, which means you need Reaper of Souls or the Ultimate Evil Edition. And respecs and gear changes are not permitted during a Greater Rift. Um, so you kind of need to get yourself set up the way you want to be set up before you go, and then you will not get any gear drops until you kill the Greater Rift boss. So, have they fixed achievements yet? No, they have not. So achievements are still odd, um, but yeah. Once they fix that, I'll do another video showing you that. So we will go here. And now how these work. 
Um, so if you have, let's say, you and your friends have been doing whatever and they manage to get rank 14, if you only have a rank 12, you're going to be doing a greater rift level 12. You're not going to be able to do the 14. So I would recommend trying to get it as close as possible. Um, but yeah, uh, at the, so we'll show you how it works at the end of the rift, but this is what we're going to do. So we're doing greater rift 12. Unleash so, your power. Your so here is the progress bar. This is our progress. This is how much time is left. So the time is yellow, I believe, and the progress is purple. So, our opponents 13, may so be strong, but I will not stand down. So this is about where it's tougher. Um, back time when I'm going to stop them. It's just basically just becoming a bad this I could do torment to someone like it was a challenge. Format one got comfortable for me and that means that they get stuff on here. Um, so here are the progress orbs I was talking about, so you see that they it's jumped me way ahead of the timer. Um, but yeah, torment two was difficult, which is about what this was the trial is where it's trying to find kind of you know, this is still a challenge for you, but not so much that you're like right about. money. Otherwise you will not see money and there are a few of any destructible things that is I don't think I've ever seen a destructible I'm only running. Oh, Scan no drops, but again, the three progress orbs now you can see it is boosting me very much ahead of the timer, which is very nice. More, I believe the more time you have left at the end, the better you are going to Not ready yet. So if you have... Uh, I hate obviously you would want to roll one, but you really don't get it. You could have a fun get a really easy one, and then you can go and enjoy it. You won't get great one because it's kind of... You'll have to get a great one, so you're going to get a great one, so you're going to get a great one. Probably 20 or so for spot 9, but in one or two, I got four pieces that gave lightning bonuses. And I was like, well, I might as well build a lightning spec. But it really is, and especially all the things that we want to do in the episode, especially with like, that was my, just friends a my friends can come through the like, um, By the time I, my, my ball lightning would get to whatever boss we were going to the enemies we were getting so it's really a useful spell to use um, when you're just when I'm like there when we're fighting the weak and losses it's kind of like it's pretty powerful it's back on the way I have 
Yes, where Vault now costs hatred instead of discipline. That's pretty awesome. Oh yeah, here's some things. They, they won't drop anything. So we're pretty much the quarters of the way through. Your fear betrays you! Guardian is here.
gems. I don't exactly know how many of them there are, but this is how it works. So, which one is this? Oh, I don't have this one. I don't have primary skills. Hmm, okay. Um, so, what you do is, so we just finished rank 12, so we'll talk to the artisan. Hello. So we can either upgrade any of our gems, so any of the gems that you've acquired and you've kept. Um, so I have three or four sitting in my inventory right now, and uh, I've got this one as well. So I think, yeah, I think this will put me at four. Um, this one, sorry. Uh, so what happens is you upgrade them. So you get like, three, up three upgrades per one. It might go up as you do better rifts, um, greater rifts, I should say, and then so once you upgrade them, this number here, the 25%, so this one is Simplicity Strength increases the damage of primary skills by 25%, so every time you upgrade it, um, it's good, the, that percentage is going to go up, and it is unique equipped, and the gems must be to put in jewelry, so it has to go on a necklace or it has to go on one of your two rings, and it is a unique equipped, so you can only have one of them. Um, and then as soon as you get it to rank 25, which will take you eight, if you're only upgrading the one, it'll take you somewhere between eight and nine, I think. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that it stays with three upgrades per rank, but it might go up. And then depending on how, um, depending on how, uh, high you go, the percentage might go up or the number of upgrades you do might go up. I'm not entirely sure. Um, then once you get it to rank 25, you get the second stat, which in this one is primary skills heal you for 2% of maximum health on hit, which is pretty awesome. Now, I don't really want to upgrade anything. I want to kind of keep doing rifts today. So I'm going to upgrade my keystone. Do this, and then I will get a rank 13 keystone. So in this one, I can end my rift with a chance to upgrade a legendary gem. So I'm going to upgrade my keystone, and I get a rank 13. And then... Ooh, I am to returning town. to town. Your skill. And that is it. So I will show you the legendary gems that I've seen so far. And we're over here. Okay, so I have four. So I have... I'll start at the bottom. So I just got this one, Simplicity Strength. So this increases the damage of primary skills. Um, this one is... Oh, I already upgraded this one. Inc gain 0.5% increased damage for three seconds after spending a primary resource. This one, you gain 20% increased damage for 30 seconds after killing an elite pack. And then this one, 50, so I've upgraded it. So this one, it starts, I was, this one I assume starts at 20, and this one I would assume starts at 50. 50% um, chance to, so base is 50% chance on hit to gain swiftness, increasing your attack speed by 1% for four seconds. It'll stack up to 15 times. And then, so the chance is, so it'll, this will go up to 25, or 75%. And then obviously at rank 15, each one gets an additional one. Um, now, the only other thing, really, that I have left to show you is Seasons. That is the new thing that they've kind of done. So we're going to leave the game. And we're going to go to Switch Hero. And we're going to Create a Hero. Oh, and it's still not open. So, Demon Hunter. Usually what you'd be able to do, should what you should be able to do, is there would be another box here that says Seasons Hero. And I don't know why it's not up yet. I think they're having issues. But what essentially you're going to do is you're only going to play that character for one season. You try and get achievements and all that kind of stuff. And then once the season is over, you get ranked on a leaderboard. And you get stuff. I don't entirely understand it. Like I said, it's not currently working. So let's just search and try Seasons. Nope. Hmm. No, I don't want to watch the video. Uh, seasons. Okay, so. Okay, the season launches Friday. My bad. Okay. So, Friday. So in North America, it'll roll around at 6 p.m. Pacific. So on Saturday, I guess then, um, I will be doing seasons. So 
how seasons well we'll talk about seasons on uh saturday i guess yeah so um but yeah that is it for now guys so thank you so much for watching um i'm hoping my throat gets better because hurting was actually kind of painful but i'm gonna edit out all the crap that it took me forever so i didn't i ran it on master and i ran it on hard the regular ref trying to get the key the trial fragment and i didn't see they didn't seem to drop so they probably do it just takes a lot longer it just has the same percentage drop rates as like the stuff to get the hellfire ring does um so yeah i would assume if you can handle torment one do it on torment one um and obviously higher will give you a better chance for it to drop but or i may just need to drop on torment but i checked the wiki and i didn't say anything like that so that is it for today guys um again on saturday we will go over what the seasonal stuff is and i'll read up a little bit on it so i'm not a babbling idiot like as i kind of was today anyway and hopefully they have achievements fixed by then too because oh achievements thank you for watching like and subscribe if you feel so inclined have a beautiful day